I have ouch I keep forgetting I have this bun on top of my head
called Epacla, Epacla Purifying Foaming Gel for Oily Sensitive Skin. It is ending. Basically, this is it. It's ending. Good thing is, I bought a new one. And ooh, ooh, it's not holding properly. And it comes with this, um, what is it attached? Micellar water. It comes with its own micellar water. So okay, I will unwrap this tomorrow morning. <laughs> so for today, we're gonna finish this one, I have had it for a year. This one bottle lasts a fucking long time. So even if it's ending right now, I am glad because yo, it has served me for so long. This is how it looks like. Okay, here's something I have to tell you. Oh, there's something on my nose. I do not like rinsing my face when I have soap in it even if it's just cleanser because I always imagine it's gonna get into my eye so I take my cloth again we're gonna see this cloth a lot okay so I take my cloth Woo! there's something in my mouth that's it okay I wipe it off as much as I can just properly and slowly wipe it as much as I can and then after I've wiped off as much as I can, I now, hold on, I now rinse it with water. Because <laughs> now all the soap is gone, so now I rinse it. So after that, we're going to go in with my St. Ives Soft Skin Scrub. This is in the flavor um, avocado and honey. Basically, I just put like that much. And then I rub it all over my face. <laughs> Simple and clear. He has never reacted to my skin badly. It actually leaves my skin feeling very, very rejuvenated. I cannot complain. I cannot complain. So we're gonna properly scrub every nook and cranny. It actually really helps. It's called soft skin because the way it leaves my skin feeling it falls amazing I always make sure it looks like this like um a creamy mask and then I leave it on for like 30 seconds so now it's been sitting on my face for a little bit it's time for me to wipe it off like I said, I did not like struggling getting product on my face, so I just end up wiping them off like this. As I, I actually wipe them like with central, central, what gentle little circular motion. I did something like this. Why does it always go to the nose? Some circular motion, just to you know help. Again, we're not dragging across the face, we're just clicking it so low across the face. It so, so good. Refreshed. Feeling amazing. So, that done. It's time for my most exciting moment. That is my scrubby dub dub. Scrub, what am I saying? My face mask. Whew, I need to buy more actually. I'm just getting back into, you know, taking care of my skin. I'm only 24. I can't have old skin. Whew. Nice, nice, nice. It's so slimy. <laughs> oh Lord, it is so slimy. Anyway, I kind of forgot I had a mask on. Anyway, 30 minutes later, let's remove. That feels amazing. It was supposed to just stay on for like 20 minutes. My skin has never felt. It feels amazing. So good. Anyway. Next, we are going to use my La Roche Posay um, toner. It's 
today is Sunday. Today is Sunday, June 16th. Um, it's about 2.02 p.m. And we are headed over to do a little shopping as we buy lunch. More like um, lunch dinner. I don't know, because it's quite late for lunch and too early for supper. So maybe it is supper. I don't know. Anyway, so we are headed over to Valley Arcade to get some shopping done. Huh. Hold on. Why is my mom's car door open? Give me a second. Ouch! I keep forgetting I have this bun on top of my head. Her back seat door was open. Like, literally. It's open wide. I wonder. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, let's head over and do some shopping as we speak because, yeah, yeah, here's the thing. I haven't filmed, vlogged, posted for like a week. I haven't done that for a whole week. Last week, well, basically this week that's ending right now, I haven't done any of that. Haven't posted online, haven't filmed, at nothing, nothing. Okay, I did film videos, like I filmed an evening vlog and I filmed um, a sit down, okay, a chit chat. But I did not get around to editing it or posting it. So I do have videos for this coming week. So it's like, I need to get back to my weekly vlogging. Okay, so here we are. Now, let's talk. Because I have, I, I don't know. I don't know what's happening, you guys. As you can see, this is the phone I'm using. I'm using my business phone. You want to know why? It's a dual SIM. Um, so I have my rain um, number and I have my personal number inside. Do you want to know why? Because my phone crashed. My phone said I am done. My phone was like, I don't want to work with you anymore. You, I don't want to, like, no. Mm -mm. Done. Dusted. Here's how it began. On a Thursday, um, on Thursday, my phone was doing this weird thing where the SIM, it kind of rejecting the SIM, you know, like keeps on telling me SIM unavailable, ni 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 ni. So like, okay, you know, maybe it's a little, it's a little problem. So I restarted it and it was okay. So Thursday passed. Friday, I woke up with the same problem. I'm like, okay, this is now getting weird. Let me, let me, let me remove the sim and see what's happening. So I removed the sim. Um, I did a little cleaning, cleaning, and then I put it back. So now I thought for sure it's gonna work. No, it did not. No, it did not. So it refused completely. This is Saturday. Is it Saturday? No, Friday night, yes. Friday night, it kind of refused completely. So what I did was I took my SIM from my phone, the iPhone, and I put it on to my Samsung, that is my business phone. I put it there because it's a dual SIM card. And then I made it the default SIM. You know, I made it SIM 1. So that I can be able, you know, to contact people. When I say people, it's just my friend, my mom and whatever, anyway. But my phone was working, my phone was going on, I was going on TikTok and Instagram, I was doing everything but cool, right? I was literally doing everything. So like, you know what? We can survive like this until we find a solution. We can survive like this. We can survive like this. So we were surviving, okay? Saturday came. You see, my phone started doing this weird glitchy glitchy on the screen. Like, it was like, it's on, it's off. But mostly on, right? 
that was fine to me to me it was okay I was like as long as you know you stay on long enough I'm okay you know so it did stay on long enough and I did work on it I was watching TikToks and whatever until the screen just went off see that's the, let me tell you the weirdest thing eh? it's not that this phone was off no the phone is on I can touch it I can feel it the phone is on however the screen is black if I touch it I can feel like okay if I put it in a dark place and like use a torch on it I can see it's on I can see my apps I can see everything very vividly but I can see but the screen the screen itself is off so just like that my phone crashed completely completely crashed so I told my mom and I was like okay that is weird I'm like yes it's weird yes it's weird Apple like send me a warning send me some kind of warning so I was supposed to go try and fix it but mom's like let's not let's not bother it for now because the worst thing to do is take an iPhone to get fixed by the people who fix phones because they will ruin it so she's like let's wait until we replace the phone and then we try and see if it's gonna come on so that I can I can you know get my stuff back I have lost my numbers well if I don't remember your number you're not that important <laughs> I'm just saying I'm just saying but I have lost a lot of things um, I had properly customized that phone like a little too much it's too customized that I am using I'm losing a lot of my apps a lot of my progresses but that's fine okay that's fine it's okay it's okay I think it's okay I mean people get stolen for and they recover their stuff and this is just a phone that is in the house not stolen it's just that so yeah this time we are back to using Android I think the one thing that I really miss is the video quality because this phone has a terrible camera quality Woo! terrible I am not even going to sugarcoat it it is terrible but it's okay I don't know why people say Volvos are bad cars. I mean, that Volvo looks kind of sleek, you know? But then you don't compare Volvo to a Maybach. They're, they're two very different things you don't compare. Because I don't know why people compare them. They're uncomparable. Anyway, I, I heard it's like one of the safest cars to drive. I heard, according to testing and whatever. Well, Jeep had one of the least safety ratings. Volvo had kind of one of the highest safety ratings you know i always have to talk about cars it's a thing with me it's like a de default setting i end up just talking about cars whether i like it or not anyway so that's what has been happening that is my situation ship right now and it's it's all good I can say it like it's all it's fine it's fine okay it's it's okay it happens that's what I'm gonna say it happens maybe it was time I have had that phone for since when since 2019 see I think me and my mom are like one of the weirdest people changing phones is never our priority like ever we will re the fuck decide where the fuck you're going we will redesign our house multiple times a year but we don't we don't fix something if it's not broken well except household goods because sometimes furniture gets boring and you want something new yeah anyway maybe maybe my phone is telling me it's about time bitch it's about time really it's about time this nigga and this prado i want to kill him because how the f it's a fucking woman how the fuck are you doing everything fucking wrong? I need you and I need you to pass. Thank you. Anyway, yeah, like I was saying, I think my phone was just over it. It was over it. But like, 
So, I just woke up like two hours ago. I woke up at midnight today. I mean, okay, to be honest, I did go to bed at 3 a.m. I went to catch up with my series, my Thailand BL series. I have a weird, I have a weird taste in films. If if I if I ever like explain to you guys, you'll be surprised. There are some things I watch that normal people never watch. I how am I gonna put it? I am obsessed with Asian films. Not because they're well done. It's it's not that actually. They're not well made. For sure they're not. Actually, Canada and Australia right now are kinda oh who's this kitty? They're kinda hitting it right now. You know? Chat not what did I say? Canada and Australia are kinda up there for me right now with their film capacity. It is amazing how they make their films nowadays. Um, America is losing its touch. Hollywood is losing its touch, but that's fine. You know, I guess that's fine. What was I saying? Yeah, if I ever explain to you guys what I watch my films, you'll be surprised because I watch weird things all the damn time. Like I have a weird obsession with Asian Drama, not just any drama. See, okay, I love the K drama and the C dramas, of course. Not a very fan of the J dramas. I don't know why, but I do not like them. Thai dramas, ish ish. See, when it comes to Thai, I watch the BL series. Who, one hundred percent. I love the BL series. Hi, Hello. how are you? love their BL choices. See, I cannot like sit down with people and like watch it because they'll be like, bitch, is you insane? What is this? What is this thing that you watch? Well, I wish I can find parking somewhere here because I'm going to, I'm going to Carrefour. If I could find something here. You know, that's handicapped parking. I don't like forward parking. I don't know why. Like, I feel like I have a higher chance of scratching a car when I park forward than when I park backwards. I'm seeing this woman struggle with a double cabin. She's trying to park or leave. I don't know. Even when I have this small car, I don't like parking forward. When it's my mom's car, I do not park forward. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Because I will scratch something. I know it's weird because most people can park backwards, but for me, I cannot park forward. I, I just. I'm physically not, I'm not able to, physically. Oh, it's gonna park there. Hi. It's parking there. Where is parking? Ooh, is parking here? Yes, bitch. It's weird when I tell people I can't pack forward. Is that person? Ah, who cares?
Nah, he's fine. Oh, anyway, so let us go. Oh my god, my hair hurts. Do I wanna see I have I have two bottles of water at the back. My question is do I want to buy the water here or buy the water in Nivers? I'll just buy the water here. Stop being lazy, girl. Stop being a lazy. Let's go. Hi, guys. So today is um, Friday. Yay. Today's Friday. It's about 4.08. In the evening <laughs> I know we haven't chatted in a while we haven't talked in a while I know I know okay however I have just been having off days like I've just been feeling off but that's okay I'm slowly and slowly getting back on my rhythm getting back on life so yeah what I want to do right now is I want to do a little not really unboxing, but I just want to show you a shitload of things that we bought yesterday. Was it yesterday? No, the day before yesterday. We went shopping with my mom. And that is damage. We can cause a lot of damage when you're going shopping. So, I have the regular things from supermarket. And then I have a bunch. We went to China Square for the first time. Um, the one in Waterfront. The one at Waterfront Cameron, that's the one we went to because that's the one closest to us. And it was amazing. I don't, I don't even remember when China Square came to Kenya, but this is the first time I've ever gone and it was amazing. I like shopping, I love shopping. Anyway, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this just arrived. I unboxed it downstairs because I didn't want to come upstairs like boxes. But this is the Aramio. Aramio. Aramo. Yeah. Um, these are the heads, headsets, airpods, and oh my god, they look cute! Cute, cute, cute! Look at that. This is amazing. It just goes in. Let me see, let me try them out. Oh, there we go. Huh? I was putting them the wrong way. They're supposed to look like this. <laughs> Like, there is no physical way anybody can have them fit like that, so, but they go in like that. Anyway, I'm going to connect them later. Mostly, like, I bought them because, you know, new phone, new AirPods and everything. I had terrible ones. So, let me show you that first. And it comes with some extra, you know, squishy, squishy parts and the charger. This basically arrived right now, like two seconds ago, before I sat down to make this video. So, let me show you what I got from the supermarket. This is just regular schmegular stuff, nothing special. So, we have pads. I bought in multitude because the government has decided to overtax us. So, let's talk that for the next two months. <laughs> I'm being safe, okay? And then I have wet vibes because, you know, I'm a girl. I always have wet vibes. This, I always like buy, when I open a new one, I add onto the stock because I don't want to run out. I always need to have a spare. So I got that. And then we have the St. Ives um, rose water and aloe, aloe vera body wash that I always but I always, always use, you guys have seen this on my page multiple times, nothing special. And then, deodorant from Dove. These are basically my favorite products. Like, I use the same exact product every single time. I never change it. I use the exact same product all the time. So, yeah, this is the Dove um 48 hour. I love this. It smells amazing. And I like the spray deodorant over the jelly one but anyway it's my preference and then i have my dove body love um a body lotion again dove so basically 
I use St. Ives and Dove for my body cam. That's it, both of them, okay? And then, of course, I have the Fem, <laughs> Fem USA uh, Blossom Hair Removal Cream. You know, we do this, you know, we always have to have this because I don't like waxing. Let me tell you the truth. I hate waxing. I hate the feeling of waxing and for some weird reason when I wax, especially like the top part of my vagina, it looks bad. Oh my god, it looks bad. Like it gets tiny little pimples that I hate and loathe. But when I use my hair removal cream, it doesn't get that kind of reaction. It doesn't. I think maybe um, one day I'm just going to do laser and maybe see if that's going to be better for me because, yo, waxing, uh-uh, not for me, okay? So let's move into the fun bag. This one is from China Square, but it has a bunch of things. Not everything is from China Square, but I'll try to tell you where everything is from. So let's begin. There is a bunch of underwear in here like a bunch like <laughs> i was running out of underwear because i then it gets to a point you just you need to change your underwear and for me i buy everything at the same time so when it comes to changing i replace all of them again at the same time so this look comfy i've never had a green underwear first time the fact that i'm showing you guys my underwear on screen i mean you've seen worse but yeah i got a bunch of them i didn't get this from china square china don't make big enough andes for people like me we got heaps okay but um we got this where did we buy them i don't i forgot what that name what that shop is called it's in junction like next to the gaming center um and next to toyzuna <laughs> I forgot, there's just um, a place there, a junction mall. They sell like innerwares and everything. They are amazing. Yeah, I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot the name. I cannot tell you the name and it is not written here. But it's all good. It's all good, okay? And in the same store, I got this bra. Let me tell you. If there is anything perfectly made, it's this bra. I want ladies and lady boys. I want to show you how amazing this is. It has layers over layers, and look at how thick the strap is. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. I know guys won't understand why I'm so excited about it, but if you are like me and you are not the skinniest. <laughs> You have fat that you want to kind of control, okay, manage. This works perfectly. And then the strap over here, look at how big it is as well. It's thick and it's properly stretchy. So you don't get those, am I wearing a bra? I'm wearing a sports bra. So you don't get those lines that you normally do get. This is a bra for special occasions because... If you followed me long enough, you know, I do not wear bras. I do not. And if I do, I wear um, the sports bras. That's my everyday bra. So this is for special occasion. <laughs> special occasion, okay? So all that is from a different store. Let's dive in here and see what else we have. Ooh, I think I find the name. What's the name? Pretty hot. Oh, pretty hot. Yeah, it's called pretty hot. I guess. I guess this is the. I don't. I forgot what it's called. It's just a receipt. I was trying to see if I can find something from there. Okay. So we went to. Oh, I have more underwear. How many underwear do I have? Anyway, <laughs> we then went. Um. Oh, let's see. I love. I unbox it because you know, I'm very um quick to remove boxes i don't like coming upstairs with boxes so i kind of tend to remove anything that looks like boxes downstairs and then i come up without so this is a power bank with um an iphone charger and a type c charger which is everything i need this is everything i need because for me i just need okay i just need the type c and the apple because i have uh, my phone is coming the phone that i'm getting um requires a regular schmegula iphone charger so with my business phone like this one for rain it's a type c and the charger for 
like to charge this airpods also type c so that's all i need i need to charge this one actually um actually i got this from miniso yeah i like miniso they always have these things and then of course it came with this an extra charger okay and then i got this um biobalance hyaluronic 3d acid from i got this from um linton's I got this and um, a liquid concealer, but I had done my makeup today, so I already unboxed that one. So we have this. Actually, this is the only one that is up here. It's a box. Let's remove this. I do not like boxes. It's a thing with me. Everyone has their thing, but I don't like like boxes upstairs because that means my 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 um whatever is gonna be too filled up. So here we go. Can't wait to do my skincare this evening. It's gonna be a mess. Most of the things we're about to unpack now is everything from China Square. So I got this um, eyelash glue. Okay, this is from Usha's Beauty Cosmetics. Um, I really want to practice to do my eyelashes because I need to know how to do eyelashes. Period. Okay. Um, I also got this gigantic box from the same company from Usha's as well um basically this is just for me to do trial and errors okay there's a lot of sizes and whatever so i cannot wait to spend one day trying to poke my eye out this is a different day's product okay then i got this um this is for trial though if they're good i'm gonna go back for them because they're only 80 bob the 80 shillings less than a dollar okay way less than a dollar so this is um from Ushis as well i got citrus um this is a citrus brightening um mask and then we have the rose mask for moisturizing we're gonna try this um when we do our skincare we're gonna try and see you know which one how it's gonna come out okay and then in that same situation, I also got this um, collagen hyaluronic, hyaluric, I'm saying it right, lip masks. Why? Because I'm a girl and I, I spent a lot of money on skincare. Actually, my mom bought for me all of this. <laughs> That's why I was happy to go with her. <laughs> I was happy to go with her because I know I'm going to get like, she's going to like buy for me. I don't have to buy for myself. This is, people always ask me, like, where do your money go? And then this is where it goes. Beauty products. So let's remove the paper on top and we see what we're working with. For me, I'm like, I don't really spend a lot of money on, like, masks and whatever. The actual, the actual products, that's where, like, I spend money. And when it comes to masks, I try and try until, as long as nothing reacts with me so bad. Why is this not, like opening properly most of the time they don't really have um, a terrible reaction so yeah. let's see how they look like inside I haven't even opened them so this is how it looks like okay, this is how it looks like you just put one on your lips and uh, maybe I'm gonna try this this evening actually I will I will try it. Okay, moving on to more beauty stuff. Why did I return this year? I got a whole box of beauty blenders. Yeah, I was happy that this is 200. It was what 215 for all of this? I was excited for that. I love a discount. I love a discount. Okay. And then of course I got this um, makeup fix spray. It's from Ushis as well. This is with it has rose water and whatever. So I'm gonna try this. I've been using Maybelline and it's kind of ending. So let's try something new. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be using from now on. Okay, and then ooh, before we get on to the clothes, the last thing is I got this. Oh, I got this from Miniso actually. This is a cute little. Can you see it? It's a beautiful butterfly necklace with two different kinds of earrings i got this for like what 800 so i want to stock up on jewelry i do not have jewelry okay i do not have jewelry whatsoever 
Um, okay, this is um, for my hair to just style, you see like the way it is. I just style it with this one. This one I got it from China Square. Let's look at the clothes that I got from the China Square. We have this top. See, it looks small, right? It looks unbelievably small. However, let me show you. It stretches so wide. <laughs> this will fit me perfectly. I'm just thinking wearing this with some jeans. Fire. Then go be fire, fire, okay? And then, oh, now this is my thing, okay? My thing is this bralettes are they called bralettes or whatever they don't really sports bras but they are bras but like in sporty version bralettes i don't know this is my thing my thing it just chill with it they don't press they don't make you hate life because that's what i'm wearing right now okay see that's what i'm wearing right now so yeah i got that as well oh i also got the same top that i just showed you but in mastered First of all, this one will look mega good with like black jeans or like black bottoms. You don't, you don't have to be jeans. They're size F. They're literally free for anybody. You can wear them. Okay. And then I got this inner, what are they called? Um, biker shorts maybe? I don't know. Cyclists. I wear them um, under skirts and whatever. Skirts, dresses. Um, see-through pants that's what I wear them for I only got one because I'm not sure it's gonna fit me it kind of stretches but I'm not sure but my mom is waiting if we don't fit me she takes them <laughs> but anyway we're gonna see we're gonna try later on so then I got um, oh final things last two things I got was this um, ankle socks this beautiful ankle so I have them in pink and um blue color because i don't know i like them i like them so that is it that is all for impromptu unboxing i was like i'm gonna show you guys these things i had not like removed them and packed them for so long so like well given that i have been because this is um from wednesday and today's friday i'm like eh you know what as i catch up with you guys let me do a little unboxing She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her